CB2 is the name of a robot child made by the University of Osaka. He's used to study how learning processes take place. CB2 has a quite human-like presence. He's far more than a mere avatar. CB2 has many sensors, two cameras in the eyeball, two microphones in the ear, and uh, many, many tactile sensors on the entire body. And uh, using that sensor, so CB2 can have a uh, rich interaction between the with the humans and uh, so the, in that case so the Sibiski has the ear and uh, when you call him the, he can react to your call. Hello. An inspection of the robot's innards makes it clear why Japan is still the leader in robot technology worldwide. The Japanese have a special talent for engineering. When we study the human infant developmental process, and we can we need to have so the tight interaction between the baby robot and the father or the in his caregiver, and to have such kind of interactions, we need to have safely interact with the robot. And in that case, we think the robot has a very soft body. So the, actually, the CBSK has a very soft skin and. Uh, he has a many, many pneumatic actuators. So the, as you know, the pneumatic actuator has a very flexible movement, like a human movement. And, uh, when CB2 is supplied with electricity, he seems to come to life. When his senses cause him to respond, he seems to be taking in his surroundings. This robot child triggers strange and sometimes uncomfortable feelings in people watching him. 